big setback for Congress. After TMC and Ambani Party, JDU attacks Congress. Nitish slams Congress over Karpuri. Claims no Bharat Ratna for Karpuri during Congress era. Bihar CM thanks Prime Minister Modi for Bharat Ratna to Karpuri. Janna hai Karpuri Thakur ji ka Bharat Ratna pradan kiya jaye. To mujhe khushi hai. Mai iske liye Kendra Sarkar ko aur Pradhan Mantri ji ko bhi मैं बधाई देता हूं नीतीश इज नेक्स्ट पल्टी इमिनेंट और टॉप फोकस ऑन 6 पीएम प्राइम एंड द पॉलिटिक्स जस्ट डजंट एंड डज इट जस्ट वीक्स अहेड ऑफ द नेक्स्ट इलेक्शन थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग मी आई एम शिव दिस इज 6 पीएम प्राइम लेट्स गेट यू स्ट्रेट टू द हेडलाइंस Politics speaks over Bharat Ratna for OBC and reservation icon Karpuri Thakur. Congress claims BJP full ploy beyond be, behind the award to the ex Bihar Chief Minister demands nationwide caste census. Nitish interestingly publicly thanks Prime Minister Modi. Mamta Banerjee snaps ties with the Congress in Bengal says will fight polls alone. Congress reacts says they will troubleshoot and that mamta is indispensable in the alliance but india block seems to be in tatters elsewhere as well aam aadmi party to fight solo on all 13 seats in punjab jdu blames congress over delay in seat sharing as a reason for mamta's exit meanwhile the himanta versus rahul gandhi spat explodes during the nyay yatra rahul escalates his aggression against the assam chief minister claims he's being remote controlled by amit shah congress chief kharge accuses assam police of working with bjp cadres against the rahul yatra 19 days after the enforcement directorate team was brutally attacked in bengal the ed has relaunched raids in mamta state absconding trinamool neta shah jahan's house searched income tax also joins in Yanwapi Archaeological Survey of India report to be made public orders a court both parties are to get a copy of the report you'll hear about it first here on India today There's huge suspense over what Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar's next move is going to be now viewer here is a man who is called Paltu Ram by his critics because he's seen as a man who doesn't really have any roots he doesn't mind switching from one party or one alliance to the other based on expediency and political convenience and his own hold on power in the throne of Patna well he's broken bread he's been part of alliances with the Modi BJP he's been part of alliances with the opposition that is the rjd and the congress but now there is suspense over what his next move is going to be because he's been pretty upset over not being the first among equals in the india alliance he sees himself as someone who is taller than the other leaders around him in the india alliance and therefore has not been very joyful about not being that prime ministerial face or a convener no matter what the jdu says now there has been a leadership crisis he's been meeting the governor ostensibly over the budget but there is this huge political buzz and suspense over what nitish kumar aka paltu ram and i'm not calling him that it's his critics who call him that is going to actually do next is he going to ditch the alliance and jump back to the nda the bjp controlled nda or are we reading too much into his mysterious recent actions and the rumors well you can make your mind up and i'm sure there'll be greater clarity in the days ahead but for instance nitish kumar has publicly attacked his own ally the congress party today over not having honored karpuri thakur the former bihar chief minister a man for whom a bharat ratna has just been announced by the modi government while mamta banerji has pulled the rug out from under the congress's feet in bengal all eyes are now on that other key india alliance partner like i said nitish kumar amidst these rumors that i was talking about of him switching sides back 
to the BJP controlled NDA. Nitish Kumar has been keeping his cards typically very close to his chest. Today, he stumped everyone again by launching an attack at his current alliance partners, the Congress and the Lalu Prasad RJD. While speaking on the Modi government's decision to award the Bharat Ratna to Bihar's OBC and reservation pioneer Karpuri Thakur, Nitish Kumar accused past Congress governments taking them by name at the center of not honoring Karpuri Thakur. And that's a big attack to make considering that Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party have been making the caste census their calling card this election season. Nitish also hurled a Parivarvad jibe, declaring that political parties today only work for their families, and you know which family or which party he's talking about. However, a very, very cryptic statement was in some of the other things that he was saying, given that both the Congress and the RJD are dynastic parties, so no one had any real doubt about who Nitish Kumar was really lashing out at. The question is, are such comments sustainable with his continuation within the India alliance, uh, or are all those rumors uh, supposedly, possibly true, that he is biding his time and waiting to flip once again and therefore validate his reputation of being what his critics call him, which is Palturam. So that is the question right now. What is Nitish's next plan? Jan Nayak Karpuri Thakur Ji ko Bharat Ratna bhi pradhan kiya gaya. Ab aap janiye na unko Bharat Ratna pradhan karne ke liye to hum to suru se kah rahe. Aap agar dekhiye ga तो जब हम लोगों की सरकार बनी है 2005 में तो 2006 के बाद 2007 से लेकर के आई 2023 तक हर साल पहले कांग्रेस की सरकार या और की सरकार बाद में अभी जो सरकार है इन सब लोगों को हम अनुरोध करते रहे लिखते रहे कि भाई जन्ना करपुरी ठाकुर जी का भारत रत्न प्रदान किया जाए अभी लोग नहीं करते थे लेकिन कल कर दिया है तो मुझे खुशी है मैं इसके लिए केंद्र सरकार को और प्रधानमंत्री जी को भी मैं बधाई देता हूं कि उन्होंने स्वीकार कर लिया सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द नीतीश पजल एडिंग टू द सस्पेंस यू नो विल कोट अन कोट पलटू राम मेक अ पलटी अगेन यू नो कंसिडरिंग कंसिडर एग्जिबिट बी व्यूअर सुन आफ्टर द भारत रत्न for the ex chief minister karpuri thakur was announced yesterday evening nitish kumar welcomed the move by the modi government on social media but very interestingly he wrote the demand to give bharat ratna to late karpuri thakur was long standing the years old demand has now been fulfilled today minutes later he deleted the earlier tweet and then tweeted again but very significantly added a line thanking Prime Minister Modi. He slightly rephrased the old tweet, which he deleted, added a new tweet, expressing gratitude to Prime Minister Modi, which, as you can surely agree with me, in these times holds a great deal of significance. It's not just a courtesy. He added that line at the end of that tweet, thanking Prime Minister Modi, and much is being read into that, especially since Modi and Nitish have usually been at. cross hairs and cross purposes politically they don't like each other very much they most certainly don't trust each other politically speaking but nitish even in this atmosphere of visceral confrontation between the india alliance and the modi government made it a point to delete a social media post and add a line thanking the prime minister so what was that about the third point of contention with the jdu and the congress is rahul gandhi's bharat jodo nyay yatra like mamta banerjee the jdu now claims that nitish kumar has not been formally invited to walk with rahul gandhi says that this demonstrates a lack of normal and normal courtesy by the congress party remember yesterday rahul gandhi had said that he had requested both mamta and nitish to join his march but they both say nothing of the sort has happened invitation humko nahi mila hai and this shows a lack of common courtesy by the congress party now denying all these congress claims the janata dal united says no formal invitation has been extended to nitish kumar to extend the yatra so this is also added to the acrimony and escalating hostility between these indi alliance elements and added fuel to the rumor fire of whether 
Nitish Kumar is going to live up to his Palturam reputation, dump the alliance and jump back to the Modi-controlled NDA government. कांग्रेस की तरफ से अधिकारिक तौर पे कहा गया खाली साहब कि नीतीश कुमार ने सहमति दे दी है 30 जनवरी के पूर्णिया वाली जनसभा में शामिल होने को लेकर एक कांग्रेस पार्टी ने किस बुनियाद पे ये बात कही है जो मेरी जानकारी है उसके हिसाब से अभी तक हमारे नेता श्री नीतीश कुमार जी का कोई प्रोग्राम नहीं है और उनको कोई फॉर्मल इन्विटेशन जो होता है देने का ऐसा फॉर्मल इन्विटेशन कांग्रेस की तरफ से अभी तक नहीं दिया गया आपको नहीं लगता है कि जो इस तरह के आधिकारिक बयान अगर आ रहे हैं और आमंत्रण ही नहीं दिया गया है तो इससे और कंफ्यूजन बढ़ेगा अलायंस के अंदर नहीं आमंत्रण मैं फॉर्मल इन्विटेशन की बात कर रहा हूं। हो सकता है कि जबानी किसी ने कही हो कोई बात फॉर्मल इन्विटेशन प्रोग्राम का अभी तक नहीं दिया गया है और जब दिया जाएगा उसके बाद डिसीजन होगा अब कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कैसे दावा कर रहे हैं क्यों कर रहे हैं क्या बुनियाद है किस बुनियाद पर उन्होंने किया इसका जवाब वो खुद देंगे so let's just tell you a little bit about why this whole suspense over nitish kumar is important what does he bring to the table for this upcoming big election why does him leaving the fold of the india alliance uh, uh, you know a signal a significant amount of damage for the india alliance let me just take you through some pointers that uh, my colleague india today's uh, polomi saha put together so we understand it a little better he's a prominent hindi heartland leader in the india bloc you can't take that away from him his party the jdu won 16% of the assembly seats in 2020 so it's a sizable party nitish is a socialist leader with vast political experience at one point of time he was called sushasan babu because he had provided relatively better governance in bihar compared to the kind of jungle raj of the earlier decades nitish is a kurmi same obc caste bloc as modi the kurmis have a sizable population in the hindi heartland state so in terms of caste arithmetic he is significant as well unlike other opposition leaders uh, who are under the corruption scanner nitish is under no lens whatsoever no scrutiny no allegations of corruption of any kind against him certainly nothing that has stuck or made the headlines he's got good decent equations across party lines including with the bjp and could possibly some be some kind of a glue uh, even though he's uh, missed that bus as far as the india alliance is concerned he's got a good hold over the ebc vote bank as well so these are just a few broad pointers over why nitish kumar isn't some small fry he's very very significant to the overall political arithmetic whichever side he chooses to sit and he's called palturam remember because he has been on both sides joining me live now to decode this a little further rohit singh live with us from patna the capital of bihar polomi saha from delhi and executive editor preeti choudhary also who's been looking at all these uh, tremors that have been uh, quaking through the india alliance and what you know what what they actually signify rohit if i could quickly come to you first since you're closest to the you know proverbial action as it were you know this suspense over what nitish kumar's next move is going to be is a very familiar thing you know i remember wondering about what he is going to do next many times in the past as well is there any clarity he is praising the prime minister he is sulking about nyay yatra uh, you know he is talking about seat sharing etc is he planning to you know switch sides once again rohit straight question Shiv, see, <clears throat> there are indications that are being dropped here. You see, uh, Nitish Kumar is definitely not uh, feeling comfortable in India Alliance, that's the India Bloc, because uh, see, in the last uh, four to five months, he has been completely sidelined in that uh, India Bloc, and he was uh, offered a convener post, uh, but he denied it, uh, refused it. Yeah, because Nitish Kumar wanted that he should have made be made the convener. In for maybe in the first or the second meeting itself, but now it was too late, and I think Nitish Kumar was already thinking that uh, he should come out of the Mahagathbandhan. In the what has happened in the last two three days, uh, Shiv, let me tell you, just like five four four five days back, Amit Shah has softened his stance as far as Nitish Kumar's return to NDA is concerned. Mm. When Amit Shah was questioned regarding this in Rajasthan a few days back, he says that if some proposal comes to me, I can think over it. Hmm. and this is a different uh, stand from the earlier stand where he has always yes. said that nitish kumar ke liye darwaze band ho chuke hain so that's hmm. a uh, uh, climb down from his earlier stand secondly yesterday karpuri thakur being uh, given the announced uh, bharat ratna 
So mm. now this is the long standing demand of Nitish Kumar for the past almost 15 17 years Nitish Kumar has been demanding this from the UPA government also when Congress was leading it but he did not get it now that uh, Prime Minister Modi has announced it so he was thanking the Prime Minister Okay so in and in, in one way BJP has also uh, BJP has also listened to what uh, Nitish Kumar was saying and right. the third incident that happened today that Parivarwad jibe at uh, Lalu Prasad and, Co and Congress so there are indications being dropped that things are getting better between nitish kumar and bjp but will that be so uh, so good that nitish kumar can even uh, quit the india block can he return back to the nda is the situation that fine enough right at this point of time that remains okay. to be seen but obviously nitish kumar is not feeling comfortable in india block that is for certain shift Pre preeti is this uh, you know uh, how are you reading this you know you've looked at all these parties we you know we i'm sure we've actually had these conversations before as well is nitish clearing the decks to jump ship once again well you know uh, is nitish clearing the decks with what uh, rohit just elucidated shiv uh, you know nobody really quite knows nobody quite understands uh, at some level this would be career harakiri for nitish kumar to go back to the mm. bjp so in that sense it really doesn't make sense but what is it that he has going for himself where uh, the india alliance is concerned the congress uh, shiv has always been very worried about nitish kumar uh, you know mm. um, Uh, uh, with some of the leaders from the Congress off record would tell me that of everyone from the India Alliance, they are most worried about Nitish Kumar because they feel he's, you know, uh, paddling away underneath the waters furiously. And one of the main reasons why the Congress itself mooted. Now, who wanted the convenership for Nitish Kumar? It was the Congress Party because, you know, I'll tell you, one of the top leaders of the Congress told me, uh, "Malvi Sab ko naraz kyun karna ek salam ki baat hai." So basically, <laughs> it was uh, the Congress that wanted. Uh, that he at least be given convener at the earliest that somewhere mm. down the line it binds him to this alliance and he cannot really uh, pull himself away from it at that point of time it was the likes of mamta banerji who had dug in their heels and says make mr kharge as the prime ministerial face and you can continue making nitish kumar the convener but that yeah. didn't quite happen and that's why what we see today take place is taking place shiv um Nitish Kumar uh, has been an insecure leader what went down with Lalan Singh in the past hasn't come back for the first time it's happened before every time he's felt insecure he removes that leadership and he takes control of the party but there is also and I'm sure Rohit will echo that feeling that in the state of Bihar there is a sense that uh, the JDU could be on the verge of a split with some of them moving towards uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party and the others towards the RJD now keeping all of that in mind uh, uh, will Nitish uh, Kumar cut his losses and once again move back to the bjp because what is it that he's really getting uh, from True. the india alliance right now it's actually nothing the india alliance on the other side shiv needs nitish a lot more uh, <clears throat> than anyone especially in the state of bihar because nitish still is a strong leader in bihar a sizable vote uh, bank where uh, bihar is concerned and if right. he does go to the bjp the only reason the bjp might uh, you know uh, go back to nitish is because it will be a huge blow to the india alliance and uh, the arithmetic okay. where the state of bihar is concerned because i you know one last point shiv you know yes. of all the alliances that have ever happened um, you know in in the recent past look at the history the only alliance where there has been an equal transfer of votes from both sides this is a state mm. election what i'm talking about has been when the rjd and the jdu came together because right. what you know transfer of votes happened from the rjd to the jdu and vice versa it's never quite happened anywhere else look at what went down with bsp and sp okay. where the sp vote transfer bsp doesn't so this gathbandhan is very important for the india alliance going forward in lok sabha very very interesting so the you know the 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 stakes are hugely high but ultimately it will come down to the bjp as well it's not just nitish's decision uh, uh, you know polomi uh, in those pointers you gave us it's clear the importance of nitish uh, you know he can't be ignored or wished away uh, you know he's here to stay as far as this election is concerned amit shah has kind of kept the door half open as per uh, uh, you know our reports rohit just mentioned that as well what are you hearing from within the bjp is nitish headed back <laughs> Well, uh, the BJP, of course, is watching very closely what's happening in the Mahagathbandhan. They're also watching all the developments as far as Nitish is concerned. The noises that he seems to be making sometimes, quite literally, if you remember the last instance of the India Bloc meeting where he snubbed uh, T R Balu of the DMK when he sought a translation of what Nitish was saying for Mr M K Stalin in English, and he said, "This is Bharat. Please, uh, you know, uh, listen to what I'm saying. This is in Hindi. You should know it." So clearly, uh, you know, he's been miffed. 
He's been feeling sidelined for a while. He's been making all of these noises. Of course, uh, Rohit listed some of those out, including, of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, the announcement coming from uh, the center through the Rashtrapati Bhavan uh, that indeed, um, you know, the Bharat Ratna is to be conferred posthumously on uh, Janaya Karpuri Thakur yesterday. And Nitish is uh, saying that the Congress, uh, you know, uh, did not do so without, of course, naming the Congress, uh, saying that, you know, I made uh, several de uh, such uh, demands, right. but clearly nobody listened until yesterday. But within the BJP ship, not many are very comfortable. They've been pressing the senior leadership saying, you know, don't again fall for this opportunist. Let us, mm. uh, you know, contest this election on our own might and strength. We're doing well. We built a ground on a ground in Bihar and we need to capitalize on the same every time. We do not need uh, an alliance with the JDU and especially with someone who can't be trusted to be with us uh, five days later. So that is the sense within uh, the BJP rank and file as far as the state of Bihar is concerned. Uh, Sun. So okay. it, it, the senior leadership will have to take that into account as well, even if Amit Shah may have made a, a small noise yes. in the recent past Important where he did point. say that he's going to keep the door a half a jar for uh, any possibility of a proposal coming from the JDU's way. Oh, the wheels that turn before elections, uh, if only we could uh, foresee them. Well, the, the, the beauty of India Today's political team, as always, is we'll tell you before anyone else. That's the biggest guarantee that I can give you here on India Today. Rohit, Preeti, Polami, appreciate it. Thanks very much for bringing us some light on this big, big, very beguiling story over, quote-unquote, the Paltu Ram of Indian politics. That's a wrap on this segment.